Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Balaji and welcome to my channel stand up. But what is the first thing that comes to your mind when I say photography studio? Those huge flashlights. You know, those lights are called strobe lights, which are primarily used for phase action photography. You can always use a constant source of light for photography, but it's going to introduce motion blurs, which can be completely eliminated by using these strobe lights. I have purchased two types of lights from this brand. Number one is Cubic 1200 watts, which is a high end strobe light. Number two is SL200 watts, which is a high end video light. Now let's unbox it. Since I bought these lights from a wholesale dealer in China, I was able to save a lot of money. The two boxes that you guys see contains the SL200 watts LED video light. As the name suggests, these lights are primarily used for videography purpose. The next two lights that I'm taking out of the box are QT1200 watts Mark II. Like I told you guys before, these lights are primarily used for photographic purpose. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off.
before I reband these lights, I decided to test it out. As I have never laid my hands on any one of these lights, I want to know how this works. The temperature of the device was 34 degrees as you can see from the display. As I was decreasing the brightness of the device, the temperature also decreased with it. When compared with the LED light, the strobe light was much heavier. <laughs> So that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, press the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, press subscribe along with the bell icon for the future notification. See you on another exciting video. Bye.